So, did you hear the one about the old Japanese man and the French couple with a new baby? They got a family of six kicked out of their hostel. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So legit, <laughs> we're in a predicament. First, we got to take the long bus from Cambodia back to Bangkok. Okay. Less to talk about. Get to pick what you get to eat for dinner. We're back in Bangkok. We chose this place because they had a killer deal because it was new, which we have never done before. We've never risked no reviews. Pool with a diving board and slide, clearly for kids, is supposed to have complete silence. All day, every day. It doesn't matter what time of day. So even just us out there talking in quiet tones, like he was complaining. Great. Okay, not gonna lie, when we first got to the hostel, we were a little freaked out because the bunk room was literally next to the kitchen and dining room and it just had a curtain, so like no privacy. And we finally got pizza ordered about nine o'clock at night. We're sitting there and we hear people coming in and we're like, oh, the other people are here and it sounds like a family, I hear kids. And this family comes walking up the stairs and we're like, hey! It's totally the gun family from Chiang Mai. And it was so serendipitous because we totally didn't get a chance to get to know them at all while they were there. So it was super fun to get to hang out for a few days and go through a little bit of the hostel drama together. We got out and had some dinner, went to church, um, just hung out and had a good time. It was really fun. But it, seriously, how random. All the hostels that are in Bangkok and we ended up at the same one. It was so fun. Yeah. And this is the kids playing in the hallway so they're not next to one of the shared walls because heaven forbid they make any noise. You want kisses? Let's just go with that. I know. Are we on? To the beach. Let's go. Let's go snorkeling. The guns is rolling out. <laughs> okay, a lot of you are asking for updates. So, hair's crazier, same clothes, stressed out. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, so, it's a young man, he's like 20, 21, that rented this place from a Thai owner. And he's not even talking to the Thai owner, he's talking to a real estate agent in between. So this is like all getting, anyways, it's been a mess. Uh, basically, we've gone this morning from you must leave right now to you can move to a different unit. Three minutes later before we responded, never mind, you can't move to another unit. They're insisting you leave. And I'm like, they can't insist we leave. We choose what to do with you. And of course, I want you to move with us. Like, please. I am so sorry. And he's like, you can have the nicest room with the private bathroom. We won't charge extra. We just will move your comfortable bed and I'll help you move all your stuff. So what would you do? I moved into this other room. It's on the other side of the house, but it's still not gonna be okay because the lady's insisting we leave next door. The owner is because she complained. So we're stressing trying to find a place, but the kids are having a nice afternoon now. <sighs> so. The bathroom. So this is up on the third floor. And like I said, we moved to the other side. So we weren't um, sharing a wall with her. I could not write this if I tried. This is like seriously a soap opera. You will not believe. Makai's like, this is the fastest, craziest, quickest turnaround we've ever seen in all our travels. The power has shifted. And then he had said, listen, I'll rent out all your empty places. Like, I can get you way more money than that one neighbor next door that's mad cut to an hour later she messages him back yeah the owner wants you this is the agent yes the owner wants you to uh rent out all of these apartments you can get rid of all the foreigners so basically kind of saying that it sounds like i'm not trusting anything at this point because it's like a roller coaster but right now where it stands we're over in the other unit and he already had someone here looking at one of the places and he has a few more already lined up coming like within an hour like crazy so he's like oh, he's laughing when he gets off the phone I'm like what he's like I already rent out one place I'm gonna rent out all the places and basically all the neighbors that were complaining might be uh, having to find a new home 
that crazy? It's like two years and the other guy's been here seven years. But he doesn't want any noise at the playground or the pool. Very special snowflakes. <laughs> Recording how noisy we are at the pool. Because we're so noisy. Okay, I have private or DMs asking for updates today. Today was just actually a nice chill day. Mm -hmm. Wally and Makai actually helped move furniture because they're moving their hostel over to this other unit. See, we find random opportunities for service. <laughs> and then Makai and I went on a little date and then we went grocery shopping. <laughs> Peter, Peter, oh, Peter, uh, Mr. Peter, about uh, 1,000 page. Uh. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Uh, Stephen, Peter, John, oh my god, Sarah. Oh, in Thai language, very difficult to huh? have the same name. Yeah. Very difficult, yes. That's names, crazy. names are unique in Thai. Oh, That's hey, cool. Hey, hey, hey. That is cool to think about. Yeah. So it's 9.30, I cooked spaghetti, ate dinner. Our host pretty much, I think, has already got like four or five of them arranged, like filled in, all her empty ones, from what it sounds like. Makai sleeps downstairs in the hostel bunk room. They're doing good business. They're even in the middle of moving. It's been so crazy. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. This one won. <laughs> yeah, get your charge. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. 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 Okay, we have all of them still. Oh, starfish wins. I don't know. No, that's me. I know, that's you. I win, 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 I win. Yeah, okay, swim. Go, kings and go! Uh, uh, oh, here we are! We're here! You did it! Yeah! Okay, I gotta go. I'm gonna miss this pool. I've decided I could live anywhere with a good pool. I got a little giraffe donut on a stick. Oh my it god! Look so out! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you excited? So we really don't generally follow um, like security warnings like with the US and UK, Canada. Um, they really kind of overhype things now. India has us a little concerned. Pretty sure our flights are non-refundable. So that would be a huge hit to us and a bummer. But we're not trying to go somewhere that is going to put the kids and us at risk. India update. We had to do visas yesterday or there's was a possibility they wouldn't get done in time so we were like didn't know what to do they're a um, hundred dollars a person oh so we were really stressed out what to do so we kind of came to the conclusion that 
we would go if they got approved and we would just pay really close attention to what's going on and we would head down south if anything because everything is up north um it's only the area of Kashmir that you need to worry about and, and on the pakistan border which has been like going on forever because it's disputed territory so we're going you guys saw our results though and i'm like oh no everyone says don't go so now that you know those things though let me know if that changes your mind Also, name. we see a lot in Thai. Uh, the one Jack Dawson, Dawson, it means short dick. Daw, it means dick. <laughs> Son, it means short. Okay, when, but... When, when, when you have short dick, the woman wants to love you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Jack uh, Dawson. No. Oh yeah, Sometimes I see on tele from television, uh, the reporter, the woman, uh, when he want to... You pronounce the name of uh, Mr. Jack Dawson. She played <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jack Dawson. Uh, Pawn is mean pray. P R A Y pray. And you know what it means in English? I don't know. Ah, uh, what 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 means? Uh, mean? like it's a little different in the uh, the amazing of uh, each language. Yeah. yeah. Same same the same same but different. Very different. Uh, <laughs> the, the firework. Uh, firework. Nah. Firework. Uh, uh -huh. But in Thai, make the name really, really good. It's ah, like a flower. Yeah, oh. that's more like beautiful. Five, five flower. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, at, at first, I think uh, in English, you'd call it a five flower. Same, same Thai. No, 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 it's no. Firework. Yeah. Firework. I, 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 Fire flowers. Fire flowers, Fire flowers better. Way better. Fire yeah, flower. that's cool. Forget about the name, Miss No, I'll yeah, never forget. No, I'm still laughing at it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if my wife have a name in that way, I will not have persuaded her to. Yeah, she's gonna have to be. She's gonna have to be Sarah. <laughs> Next on the Wallace reboot. All right, go down. And then make them come back up. Yeah. Hey, buddy, you wanna go to the aquarium? Yeah. <laughs> Join us next time as we check out a full-on aquarium in a shopping mall. We love you. <laughs>